Hi everyone, I'm Walter Bernaziak, reporter for This Week at GSU. Today we present another installment of our Conversations with Leaders series, where we talk with leaders from around the university about their role and vision they have for GSU. Back for episode number three is GSU's Interim Director of the Department of Public Safety and Chief of Campus Police, James McGee. Good to have you here again, Chief. Mm, thank you. All right, this next segment is never easy to talk about, but sure. uh, it's a real issue that I think needs to be addressed and someone in your position uh, can give us some information about it. Sure. After the school shootings in Newtown, Connecticut last year, you released a public statement to GSU faculty, staff, and students. Why did you feel the need to release such a statement? Well, because, uh, again, it's, it's a horrifying event that's taken place. Well, there's, there's several horrifying events that have taken place over the last several years, uh, starting with the uh, Virginia Tech uh, and the Colorado uh, high school shooting mm -hmm. just as well. Um, so the community is, is, is in an uproar. Uh, uh, the community members are looking for ways to be uh, proactive and to, uh, 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 to be able to assist and help themselves uh, in the event of an emergency that takes place. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, we've uh, instituted many measures to uh, be proactive against uh, an incident such as this have taken place here on Governor State. Right. And what, what's the real likelihood that something like that would happen here on campus at, at home for all of us? Odds uh, so are you're probably going hit, to get hit by lightning uh, more than an incident like this taking place. But the key is to be pre proactive and preventative in your measures. So what are you doing in, in your department doing to uh, prevent something like this from actually happening then? Well, Governor State as a whole has been, has taken a proactive approach. Uh, in the past before, such as the Virginia Tech shooting incident, uh, studies have shown that these incidents could have been prevented. Uh, state legislation that uh, present governor has uh, implemented, which is uh, the campus threat assessment team and our emergency response team that we have here on campus. The campus threat assessment team is, is here to try to uh, prevent any measures from taking place, whether it's something as simple as a student that's being disruptive in class, uh, whether it's an actual threat of bodily harm to someone on campus. The campus threat assessment team then intervenes and members that are on this campus threat assessment team are members from the psychological department, members of public safety, there's faculty and staff that's, uh, that all looks and examines this problem and try to, number one, to get that person assistance or help prior to it becoming a Virginia Tech or a Newton, Newtown school shoot. You know, everyone on the campus said that that's a really uh, good thing that you're doing there and we all appreciate it very much. Uh, if said emergency does occur though, I mean there's always that chance, what is the protocol for students? What are, what are they going to do if, if something like this actually does happen? Well, um, again, I, I have to refer to other agencies' uh, uh, tragedies that have taken place. Uh, some of the things that, that's been done uh, as proactive measure is a mass communication system that will alert faculty, staff, and students that there is an incident that's here on campus. Number one, to either stay away from the campus, or number two, if, if they are on campus, uh, instructions are provided what to do. Uh, and, and that information is given towards the beginning of the semester. It's given in student orientation as well as faculty orientations. And it's, it's virtually pounded into the students. So if an incident does happen, uh, it would almost be second nature as to what their reactions should be. Well, I think, once again, I'll speak for everyone. Thank you so much for, for the work that you're doing. And it makes us all, and me especially, feel a lot safer to know that all these things are implemented for us. So thank you so much for doing that. Sure, thank and thanks you. for joining us again, Chief McGee. Uh, that's all the time that we have for, t for today, but remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. For this week at GSU, I'm Walter Bernasiak with Campus Police Chief James McGee, and you have just been twagged.